Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not investment advice. So this video is another technical analysis, candlestick chart, online trading um, explanation, example video. Um, and uh, yes, and uh, all those things which I have explained in my ebook. Get this ebook, it's for free. You find the link in the description. This ebook contains the most important candlestick pattern, chart pattern, binary option, turbo trading concepts, market condition, trend identification, rejection, and candlestick mass, and a lot of more concepts which can be applied to any kind of time, time frame and any kind of financial instrument. So get this ebook, it's for free. You find the link in the description, and in the description, we'll find also the link to the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group and get this ebook. This ebook contains more than 100 pages. Pages. Try to uh, to study those things. You see, we are already at two one hundred and two pages, or uh, full of binary option turbo trading concepts. Uh, much are more useful, much much, uh, uh, and some are less useful. But all are important to understand price action. So uh, get this ebook, study those things because it's important. So and uh, before we are going to start, you see we have a weekend and the assets are closed and so I cannot show you any kind of OTC market because I'm a European trader and I do not have any more OTC market but all my concepts are working also on OTC market. You have only to be carefully or careful about how um, yes uh, because the market can change at any point in uh, uh, at any time in um, uh, yes in OTC market yes over the counter and uh, that means that uh, the um, the broker is changing market condition yes and everything um, and switching them if there are traders who are getting um, uh, good uh, profit out of it so they change it and that can happen at any time so you have to be careful if you um, uh, trade on OTC market but OTC market is, n is the same like every other market with the only difference that OTC market the trends are stronger and uh, and uh, if the market condition change in reversal, you get also a reversal at strong trends. Yes, that is a little bit tricky. And uh, if you if you know this, that it's behaving a little bit different to the normal normal market. You uh, know how to trade this. So that is also a part of experience. Yes, um, uh, I, I would like to do some OTC market uh, trades and showing you that those concepts which I'm explaining are working also as well on that one but I do not have them maybe I will use some other broker to uh, explain those kind of concepts in the future so okay let's start with the uh, technical analysis and candlestick chart online trading video and uh, I have chosen this kind I zoomed out here to make it a little bit more clear so important is that kind of behavior here you see a nice uptrend this is ranging markets yes this is ranging you see market is in this range uh, this uptrend shows um, yes that we got the uptrend here it's now in the on the higher time frame if you get this part here yes you can take this also this part yes and then you get the equivalent time yes i would say that is this i don't know what happened here before but if you uh, see this you have here a bullish candle you get here a doji yes and after this you can expect that price would go Yes, down, yes, or up. Yes, one of those two things are possible. It's not clear because everything can happen because we got here in a consolidation area on a higher time frame. If you are doing this kind of, you have a green candle, you get here opening price, closing price, and then you get here the doji. This is nothing else than a doji. Yes, and then now it, it can happen everything because you know doji is indecision. Yes, on the uh, on the higher time frame, so everything can happen. So you have to be aware that market can go in every kind of direction. You have to understand candlestick chart and candlestick pattern. Yes, to understand what market is going to do. Important in this kind of uh, market is that price is already in between of the 50 EMA and the 100 EMA. So we are already in a consolidation area yes, between them. So that is the market condition. What is important to understand here? Yes. We have here um, a slight uptrend, yes, uh, 
not a strong one, a slight one, yes, uh, uh, the overall trend is up, yes, but important is if you have such kind of flat EMAs, it's not a strong trend, yes, uh, that is important that you understand this. You cannot do calls only because you have the alignment of the EMAs. I have explained this often and uh, this kind of behavior that we are below the 20 EMA and below the 50 EMA are already showing that we are getting here in some kind of reversal. Else, if price would move here above, it could be that we got a fake or a breakout out upwards. Yes, but we are now here below. Yes, and everything looks that price is pushing down. Yes, because if you would draw here on the higher time frame, you would get a bigger wick above than below. But at the end, it's still a doji. Yes, so uh, but a bearish doji. Yes, a doji with a bearish. Body, yes, because you see here, um, it's almost there that we got here, depending on the next candles. Yes, okay, so let's see what's happening. So, and as soon as I enter into a trade, I will stop the video and explain more in detail. Okay, it's a ranging market, it's a really not nice market because you see we have a lot of wicks, big wicks. You have to be careful, you have to uh, enter into a trade when it's uh, when it's showing the direction. So, we got here a consolidation area, another bearish, another bullish candle after a bearish candle. It's the same like what I see here. Yes, it's uh, nearly the same. I'm preparing to do a put, yes, because we got a reversal in the ranging market from the Bollinger Band. Uh, it's looking like a downtrend. We are below the 20 EMA, we are below the 50 EMA, and the 20 EMA is also heating down, and I'm waiting for a better entry point, yes, and on the rejection above, yes, I enter to get a better entry point, but still below the 50 EMA, it would be have been nice to enter above this 50 EMA, yes, but uh, that was not possible, but because we are in ranging market, I'm expecting such kind of candles here, huge candles, uh, and which are uh, showing the determination, and we are also below uh, the 20 EMA, yes, and the 50 EMA, which is showing that this kind of area will be acting probably um, as a resistance area, yes, and you see also if you would draw here support and resistance level, you would see that this is also a nice support and resistance level, which shows the change of um, the change of polarity. We have here resistance, support, supports, support, 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 breakout, breakout, and then we got another breakout, yes, and uh, yes, and the 20 EMA is pointing down, we have seen that the trend was first of all uptrend, now we got in a ranging market, yes, and uh, it's almost probably that we are getting down further, but we have here this kind of ranging market, so we didn't broke through this area, yes, so we cannot say that there will be a breakout or not. But I entered here into a put. Let's see what this candle does. And depending on this candle, I have done probably another trade after this based on that what this candle will tell me. So this is showing me selling pressure. Yes, you see we have a push down. Yes, we are getting no rejection from the 50 EMA. Uh, it's, uh, it's showing that we are heading down further. Yes, that is uh, some some kind of uh, um, trading setup. And now we see price is going above the one deviation Bollinger Band. I'm explaining something, and because we got the rejection, I will enter maybe on a lower lower button here. You see the put, put option, depending. Uh, to get a better entry point, maybe again. Yes, you see, I waited to get above the previous closing price. Yes, and uh, I entered uh, really good at the last second of the purchase time. So, and important is here again that what I'm explaining over and over again. Here is the closing price of the previous candle. Yes, and I entered here to get this kind of margin of safety. Yes, this is the margin of safety uh, where. Uh, if we get a doji or a bullish, a small bullish candle, we will stay into the trade. The one deviation Bollinger Band is, as you see, I enter exactly on the one deviation Bollinger Band, one deviation lower Bollinger Band, yes, which uh, is acting here like a support and resistance level. And uh, that area here 
will protect my bed against the uh, uh, upper movement because we have here this 20 EMA, 50 EMA, yes, um, pointing down, yes. Uh, obviously, we got here a reversal, yes. We doesn't touch the Bollinger Band, but this reversal doesn't work out, yes. We got another bearish candle, which shows that this uh, bullish, uh, bearish, uh, trend will maybe continue yes and that is the reason why i entered in a trend continuation here price is going up again to do market uh, to do panic like we know always from um, the ranging market market is moving uh, uh, really far away from your entry point or um, yes because you get huge candles and huge wicks you see here also huge wicks which are showing uh, that there is uh, there are large movements which uh, are mostly there to fool the traders, uh, those one who are not experienced. So and after this, yes, um, uh, I understood that we are really close. Yes, that this was a clear put. Yes, because uh, I understood that we are close to the 100 EMA. We got this kind of candle. You see, I'm drawing here which is showing that we have here huge selling pressure. The Bollinger Bands are preparing to show a breakout. You see, ranging market, breakout now, yes. And that's the reason why I entered immediately into a put, but mostly because this candle didn't touch the 100 EMA. The 100 EMA was almost flat. We are close to the 100 EMA. I have explained this in a lot of videos, right trading explanation videos and deep explanation videos, that the EMAs are, tell, are trying to pull yes, the price if you are close to this. EMAs is also valid for the um, for the uh, Fibonacci levels, yes, trend lines and so on. They pull the price in this kind of direction to attract the price, yes, and uh, that is what I have done here. This kind of rocket candle was uh, uh, confirming that we would go down and after the rejection here, you see a rejection, but I entered previous one because I was pretty much sure, but you could also enter after this rejection here, yes, uh, of this candle uh, to get the last confirmation, the rejection as trade. So that was uh, um, uh, technical analysis of this kind of trades, yes, and candlestick chart analysis. And uh, yes, that was already. If you like this video, do like. If you didn't subscribe, subscribe to my channel. And if you have something to say, drop me a line in the comment section. So I will say stay safe and bye bye.